If you're a teacher or public employee looking to learn more about how to prepare for your retirement, then the good news is we can help. Public Employee Retirement Training was founded by public employees to help teachers and public employees just like you prepare for your retirement, be financially well, and avoid all the common mistakes along the way. If you're a teacher or public employee in New Jersey looking for some clarification on your pension and how it works in an easy to digest format that is simple in terms, then this video is for you. We will cover the pension tiers, vesting, service crediting, service credit purchases, final average salary, pension loans, group insurance, the different types of retirement, disability, and withdrawal. So let's dive into some of the highlights of the New Jersey Teacher Pension Annuity Fund and Public Employee Retirement System, commonly known as TPAF and PERS. Although they are two separate pension funds, they have the same rules. First things first, if you're interested in learning more about your pension and member benefits, need to make any changes to your beneficiary options, apply for service credits, or take out a pension loan, you're going to go to Member Benefit Online System, commonly referred to as MBOSS. This portal is essentially your one-stop shop to make all necessary changes and even submit your retirement paperwork. The link to access your MBOSS account is listed in the description below. Now let's talk about pension tiers. Currently in 2023, New Jersey TPAF and PERS have five tiers. Your tier is determined by your date of hire. Tier one is if you were hired before 7-1-2007. Your retirement age is 55 with 25 years of service. Tier two is if you were hired between 7-1-2007 and 10-2-2008. Your retirement age is 60 with 25 years of service. Tier 3 is if you were hired between 10-8-2008 and 5-21-2010. Your retirement age is 62 with 25 years of service. Tier 4 is if you were hired between 5-21-2010 and 6-28-2011. Your retirement age is 62 with 25 years of service. Tier 5 is anyone who was hired after 6-28-2011. Your retirement age is 65 with 30 years of service. As of 2023, the member contribution rate for TPAF and PERS is 7.5% of your salary, which is deducted through payroll deductions on a pre-tax basis. This means that when you retire and begin collecting your pension, it will be taxed as ordinary income. You are considered vested with TPAF and PERS after 10 years of service credit. This means that you're guaranteed the right to receive a retirement when you reach normal retirement age, which depends on which tier you're in, as we discussed previously. Since retirement benefits are based in part on accumulated service credit, it is important that you receive the correct amount of credit for the amount of time that you work. Monthly employees receive one month of service credit for each month you make a full pension contribution. Employees paid on a 10-month contract from September through June will receive credit for the July and August that preceded September if a full month's pension deduction is taken for September. Employees who employers report service contributions biweekly will receive one pay period of service credit for each pay period a full pension contribution is made. In addition to service credits that you receive, you may also be eligible to purchase service credits. Some of the options for purchasing service credit include temporary service, military service, out-of-state service, and former membership service. I've included a link to the member handbook below, which contains all of the purchase service credit options. The purchase of service credits application can be completed in your MBOSS account. If credits are deemed eligible, you will receive a quote for the cost of the purchase, which is based on your salary at the time of the purchase of service credit application. As a member of New Jersey TPAF and PERS, you are eligible to take out pension loans. In order to take out a pension loan, you must have at least three years of service credit. You are only eligible to take out two pension loans per year. Pension loans are a minimum of $50 and increase in increments of $10. The maximum you may borrow is 50% of your contributions that are posted to your account up to a maximum loan balance of $50,000, whichever is less when added to the highest balance of any loan in the last 12 months. Interest is charged on a declining balance of the loan at a commercially reasonable rate set annually by the New Jersey State Treasurer. Loans must be repaid within five years and loan payments are withdrawn through payroll deductions. Loans may be applied for through your MBOSS account. There are a few different types of retirement for TPAF and PERS. 
all of which can be found in your member handbook, which is linked below, but let's talk about a few different types. Service retirement is calculated by taking your years of service divided by 55 or 60, depending on your pension tier. That number is then multiplied by your final average salary to determine your pension income in retirement. For example, if an employee is 55 years old and has 25 years of service with a final average salary of $100,000, they would receive 45% of their final average salary or $45,000 per year as their pension. Early retirement for tiers one through four is if you have at least 25 years of service credit but do not have the appropriate retirement age for your tier. If you decide to retire before hitting retirement age but do have the years of service, your benefit will be reduced. For example, if you're a tier one employee with 25 years of service credit but you are under age 55 and decide to retire, your retirement benefit would be reduced by 3% per year for every year under age 55. For a full breakdown of each tier and how the deductions for early retirement look, you can visit your member handbook. Ordinary disability retirement and accidental disability retirement are only eligible for members that are in tier 1, 2, or 3. If approved, an ordinary disability pension would be 43.6% multiplied by your final average salary. For accidental disability pensions, this would be calculated by taking 72.7% multiplied by your annual salary at the time of the accident. When you are getting ready to retire, it's important that you understand how your pension beneficiary options work because you only have one opportunity to elect your beneficiary option and it cannot be changed. If you elect option A, this means that you will leave 100% of your pension to your beneficiary. Option B is 75%, option C is 50%, and option D is 25%. Your monthly pension income benefit will be reduced based on which option you choose. If you choose to have the pension die with you, then you would be receiving the max benefit that your pension has to offer. As an active employee, you may be covered by two types of group life insurance. Non-contributory group life insurance is provided by your employer through the retirement system. There is no cost to you for this coverage. Contributory group life insurance is life insurance which you pay for. The cost of the insurance is 0.4% of your base salary. You can determine if you have contributory or non-contributory insurance by looking at your pay stub under your payroll deductions. Active group life insurance with non-contributory insurance is one and one half times your salary. Contributory insurance is three and a half times your salary, which means that your death benefit would be three and a half times your salary in the event that you were to pass away. Last but not least, let's talk about withdrawing your pension. Withdrawal typically takes place if you end employment with the state and are not vested and no longer eligible to pay into the pension. In this case, if you were to withdraw your pension, you will have to pay income tax as well as a 10% penalty for early withdrawal. You can avoid this by transferring this money to another type of account, such as an IRA. By transferring the funds rather than withdrawing them, you will avoid having a taxable event and also avoid the penalty for early withdrawal of the funds. And there you have it, a complete overview of New Jersey TPAF and PERS retirement systems. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to share it, like the video, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks for watching. Your retirement is one of the most crucial parts of your life, and time is one of the resources you can never replace. Once it's gone, it's gone forever. You only have one chance to get retirement right, and ironically, none of the lessons that you need when it comes to planning for retirement are taught in school. Planning for retirement doesn't start when you retire. It starts today. Whether you've been a teacher or public employee for one year or 30 years, we are here to help you gain the knowledge you need to retire with confidence. Click the link in the description if you want to learn about how to plan your dream retirement together.